here is a, another hilarious story, which is a follow-up to a follow-up, technically. Um, Ann Coulter and Donald Trump have had a beef recently, because if you'll recall, and by the way, the government's only temporarily open, so there could be another showdown soon enough, and I think like a couple weeks. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But when Trump caved to have a temporary reopening of the government, Ann Coulter was not happy, even in the slightest. In fact, she was very angry, because as you guys know, she was a very ardent supporter, and I remember watching a clip of Ann Coulter on Bill Maher's show, where she said that Donald Trump was going to win the presidency, and the entire room to laugh, the entire room laughed their ass off at Ann Coulter for saying that. Absolutely laughed, unbelievably, uncontrollably laughed at her, and then he ended up winning. It's crazy. The dimension we live in is crazy. But anyways, uh, she's a one-issue voter. What's that one issue? Two words: the wall, the wall, the wall. By the way, something I want to say, because I don't think I've said this in my other videos. The idea that the wall would cost only $5 billion is a hilarious joke. Because first of all, I don't even think $5 billion would be enough to make the wall itself. But the idea that the wall is like easy or a simple concept to build is hilariously stupid. Because there is you're going to have to seize a lot of land through eminent domain. Which basically means you have to take the land and then uh, because you have to build the wall on it. And so... I believe that it is the Fifth Amendment, which at the end it says, uh, you know, land will not be taken without just compensation or nothing. No property will be taken without just compensation. I forgot the exact phrasing, but I guess that references to the issue of eminent domain where the government can't take. That's what the amendment says. The government can't take property without just compensation. That refers to eminent domain. So you're going to have to litigate your way through that. You're going to have to pay crap tons of money it's going to get tied up in court because these are serious cases you know based on like constant the constitution and it's going to be serious and you're talking about golf courses farms and shit just a lot of stuff you're going to have to seize homes i believe too that are on the border dude you're going to need so much money for that five billion is a joke i'm thinking it runs at least like 50 billion somewhere in that ballpark because through eminent domain and then uh, and litigating it through the courts and then actually building it and maintaining it is an insane amount of money and this is not something that could get done in two years uh you know forget a it can't even get done in a term i don't think i think it would take longer than that anyways they've had a little bit of a beef and coulter is pissed off called herself a stupid girl for voting for trump and then uh, Trump responded saying, oh, I probably didn't record or, or, you know, respond to her phone call or whatever, trying to take a shot at her. We've got another one on this. This, this is the hill. It says, Coulter slams Trump as, quote, lazy and incompetent, says he could face primary challenger. It says, conservative pundit Ann Coulter said Friday that President Trump is, quote, lazy and incompetent and, wa and warned that he might face a challenger for the Republican presidential nomination if he does not uphold his promise to build a border wall. Quote, we put this lunatic in the White House for one reason. Um, she said on Yahoo's News Gold Duggery podcast, claiming that she was simply reminding the president of his promise to deliver on securing border wall funding. Asked who she thought should challenge Trump for the Republican nomination in 2020, Coulter suggested Representative Mo Brooks from Alabama. <laughs> Here's what's funny. It says, Brooks recently argued that Trump had the right to declare a national emergency to build a wall along the southern U.S. border, calling illegal crossings a, quote, national emergency of major proportions. Whoa, dude. Don't we have, neg don't we have net zero Mexican immigration into the United States? Anyways, this is hilarious. Um, it says, Coulter has heaped criticism on the president in recent weeks, urging Trump to build his long-desired border wall. And um, it's just, I I don't even know what to tell you at this point. I mean, this beef is pretty hilarious. I guess I could say that. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, who's going to end up winning this one? I honestly don't know. I think Ann Coulter will end up losing. I mean, she can't really win unless Trump gets his wall, which he's not going to get. So, anyways, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Pretty hilarious if you ask me.